Hello, welcome back to MGM Motors. Joining us for some more product reviews. So in the first video of our Clio decontamination series and, and polishing series, you saw us using uh, several products to clean the wheels. The product we're gonna review now is the shampoo we used for that job, which was made by a company called AM Details. Um, they're based up in Elgin in Scotland. I'd love to go and visit Alan up there and the team up there, mainly just to get to Elgin in Scotland because I think it's probably quite pretty up there. It'd be a nice drive, wouldn't it? It'd be a nice drive to the north end of Scotland. Um, so yeah, it, great, great bunch of guys up there. They've, they've got a YouTube channel and do their own stuff as well. So uh, I met him at Waxstock, Waxstock a couple of years ago, really nice guy. But uh, we're talking about the products uh, or the pro this product that we used of his um, to clean the wheel. So, Graham, what are your thoughts? We haven't got the bowl because we actually finished it. Graham, what are your thoughts on AM bubbles? If you watched my first, if you watched the first review where we talk about the AM wheels, I'm not a fan of AM products largely because of the, the shampoo. I'm not a fan of it. I like sudsy shampoo, and it's not sudsy at all. I get some are not massively sudsy, but this, for me, I don't like it. Hence, why it's ideal for wheels. Slap it on do the wheels. I wouldn't do my body work with it, I'm just not a fan of it. Cleaning power's good. Um, it's not as slick as it's not as slick as the Koch can we use. It's not as slick as the um, the NXT Megs I'm using. Mm. I think it you know it's it's slickness when you when you're washing over the paintwork lacks in comparison to something more expensive. You know, more well, I, I don't more. think it's more expensive because I don't think it's a particularly cheap shampoo to be fair. Um, I, think, I think it it's probably about twelve quid a litre. Uh something like that. What yeah. you have to bear in mind here is I don't know if you can see that the Kosh Kemi barrels that we've got are, oh, are massive. Five, no, yeah. they're tens. Oh, ten litres. Yeah, so they actually work out far cheaper because you buy you're buying it in bulk. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, but you know the, the I'd agree with you, I think the it smells nice. It's, no, it does smell, uh, it it does does smell, smell nice. nice, but I think all the shampoo in fact pretty much most of the product we're using at the minute the Kosh smells, smells, smells good. Nice, the Kosh Kem yeah. smells good. The Polar Seal smells like some crazy ass aftershave. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it all smells good at the minute what we're using. And we've got some kitchen detail stuff in the next week or so that we're going to be reviewing. And that's supposed and to that's smell like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola and lemon. So I'm looking forward to yeah, testing yeah. that. Yeah, um, hopefully at the weekend we'll be testing that. But, but yeah, the AM Bubbles does smell good. Um, so there's a, there's a plus. <laughs> But yeah, I mean... I think, I think that's fair. I think compared to other products in, in the market, it's not my favourite shampoo. Yeah. Equally, you know, I, I, if I'm honest, I think my favourite now is the Koch Chem. I think yeah. when you use that Koch Chem, the slickness on the panels is yeah, insane. Yeah, it's very, very, very it slick. Is, it is slick. I, I've been using N um, NXT. NXT by Meguiar's, which is good. Um, it's expensive for, for the amount you get, and it is expensive, but it's good. Very sudsy, very slick. Not as sudsy, it's probably more sudsy than the Koch Chem. But not as slick. slick, so you kind of... You can't so, clean, cleaning power, I'd say they're on par. Yeah, I don't, I'd say yeah. it's not. I think most shampoos that. are on par. Yeah, because I think the reality of it is, especially when we're the way we wash a car, yeah, there's nothing left. There's nothing left, really. really. You, yeah. you, you are just getting the remnants of the dirt off yeah. because we've done the process properly. So on that basis, I don't think you, you know, don't think there's going to be much in it on the cleaning, on cleaning power. power yeah, I, I agree. Right. I like a sudsy shampoo. I, I yeah. like, especially when I'm cleaning a darker car. So if I'm yeah. cleaning the four series. I can see where I've yeah, been. Yeah, you can see the bubbles. Yeah, you can see you where, can see where you've been. Um, and on the M2 and the Clio, they're both light coloured cars. Yeah. So, so, you know, if you watch the Clio decon video that's coming up, you'll see that we used Koch Chem on that, and it isn't that sudsy, it doesn't appear that sudsy on, on that video car. because it's a white car, yeah. but it is actually quite a sudsy shampoo. But for me, when I'm looking at shampoo, I'm looking at the cleaning power, I'm looking at how slick it is over the yeah. panel. And largely, the slickness is going to be down to how well you've done Prep your sandpaper and how, yeah. how bad the car is, sort yeah. of thing. So I expect that when we clean Mum's car, it's going to be like sandpaper. Oh, yeah, wow. exactly. Yeah, for the first <laughs> for wash, the first wash. Yeah. So you know, but ultimately, it isn't a bad shampoo. I'm not going to sit here and say it's a terrible product. There are far worse products yeah. out there. Yeah. Um, it's an okay product. One one plus I will say it's a good shampoo for the summer. Reason I say that is because it's not as sudsy. When it's drying, it's not leaving white watermark residues, which are a pain in the ass to get off, which the yeah. Koch can and the Megs possibly will. Well, well on the darker cars anyway. If you, if you left it that yeah, long, if you it left drying, it, yeah, yeah, which you we know, never would. But. Because we're washing twos, but yeah, people yeah. on their own possibly yeah, could yeah, do. Possibly, so yeah. it's, a good, it's a good shampoo for the summer. Um, there are better on the market, guys, for comparison. I, I, you know, I, I, I won't be buying that again, but there are other products from AM that I will be buying. Yeah, like the wheels. Like the wheels. Um, 
but uh, but yeah but that's that's our views on that but we'll do a proper re separate review on the Koch chem I think because that's uh, yeah that's, that, that's that's what we yeah. use to clean the car but yeah. Um, but yeah that's that's AM, AM bubbles no other other products out there similarly <laughs> priced and um, that that we think for what we do perform better yeah. um, but you know Overall, if if you if you have some kicking around, would I say throw it away and don't use it? No, no of course it wouldn't. It's, it's it's not that bad. It's ideal for what we use it for. Yeah. It's ideal for washing your wheels with. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah definitely, you know. definitely. So that's our thoughts on that one. Join us for the next one. Take care, guys, and don't forget to subscribe down below. Thanks very much.